Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. And we have Joseph back with us today, who's agreed to do a YouTube video with us today. And Joseph is also a licensed massage therapist, and we refer our patients out to him for full body or specific area massages. And you do deep tissue work, right? Yes, sir. And we like deep tissue work. It works on the entire spine all the way up and down paraspinal muscles as well as joints like the hip joints or knees ankles elbows shoulders he does it all right yes sir great so if you come in here we can get you joseph's card and, and information uh do you have a website no no website okay so right now we'll give you his name and number when we put it on the information where we post the video but we're going to show you how we adjust joseph he's had a litany of problems from his neck and head all the way down to his pelvis including down into his knees. So let's tell, show him how we do that, Joseph. Okay, I'm gonna have you flex your head forward and then backwards for me. Now see, he's got a little restriction going in extension there. And when we look at his posture here, we see his head's a little bit forward in his posture, so he's got a positive SD cervical translation. His head is also translated a little bit to the left, which brings his right shoulder a little higher, so that's a positive translation to the left on his cervical spine. His thoracic spine is also translated a little bit left to the center and also his pelvis. So he has got translations in the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine and pelvis to the left. He's sleeping on your back more though, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yep. Legs elevated. That's the legs elevated. See, Joseph does the things that we talk about afterwards, so he's getting well quicker and staying that way. Head turned a little bit to the right, so you probably sleep still a little turned with your head there, but that's still not too bad. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and decompress him first. Now, y'all love hearing the cracking noises, so I'll be quiet while we're adjusting. There we go. We got a lot of crack addicts out there that like this. <laughs> not drugs, but they like hearing the cracking noise and make them feel good, so. Makes you feel good too, right? Makes me feel good. I got adjusted yesterday finally. I had this down on me yesterday. Went all the way down. Been so busy though, we didn't get a video. We saw like 15 new patients yesterday, so. Okay, now. Put this around his occiput and around his mandible. Take a deep breath through your nose. Put it all the way out and just let me have it here. Oh yeah. Feel that all the way down? Yes. Good man. And see, he's still kicking. Not hyperactive either. That's good. That's a cervical palmar diversified master cervical rotary break, which should have got every one of his vertebrae in the neck. Did that feel like you got them all? Yep. Yep. That's my favorite one right there, actually that and the decompression both. Okay, so let's roll sideways and come over on this table. Yep, see he even gets up right. Now let's go and each me there. Joseph is also a veteran in, of Navy, or Air Force, right? Yes, sir. Air Force. And we thank him for his service there, but you're coming in here on the VA program, right? Yes, sir. So if you're a veteran, you are eligible to receive chiropractic care on an outpatient basis, either through fee basis or a new program they got called TriWest, which is even easier than fee basis. If you're in the Houston area, you can uh, call Renee at 281-405-2611 and she can get you information about how to get a referral over here from the Houston VA or you can go on our website advancedhoustonchiropractor.com and, and our very first page is on veterans and tells you all that same information there we go excellent oh yeah well you're moving good today Justin boy that was perfect good job His legs are exactly even, and they stay even, and his pelvis doesn't raise up near. Did that tighten up at all there, Joseph? 
right there a bit on your in your hamstrings and quads okay so I'm gonna work on his gluteus medius right here on the left that's pretty sore huh so he's had some sacroiliac problems so anytime you've got sacroiliac problems you've got involvement of the gluteus medius maximus and piriformis which I'm gonna work on every one of them and you go down the lower in here between the sacrum and the hip joint itself is the piriformis that's pretty sore right there huh feels good that's one of those hurt so good things and then we're going to do the right side same thing that's tender but not as tender huh let me get more of one of these piriformis here and I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on him but he's a deep tissue therapist so he knows what that is and he breathes properly breathing is a big part of healing and part of getting muscle work isn't it Joseph yes, sir. I'm doing some oblique lateral stretching here which a lot of times we'll get some cavitation or popping movements like right there in the lumbar spine did you feel that yes, okay and sometimes you'll even get it all the way up top here in the ribs there we go got a little bit right there as a matter of fact yeah. Excellent. so now I'm going to adjust his left SI joint superior to inferior and also on the x-axis internal to external sacrum which is the middle triangular shape bone straight superior to inferior on the left and the right and now I'm going to adjust his left SI joint right there I'm going to recheck his leg length on, even though it was even before I want to make sure it remains that and it does but I bet you this feels easier coming up this time See, it stayed even his low back and pelvis didn't raise up so he has a negative noculus no deer field there's L5 there's L4 L3 right there that was probably the most tender one huh there's L2 and L1 and then we're going to get into his lower thoracics and I did get another one right there at T11 T12 which are transitional vertebrae right between the thoracic spine curve backwards the kyphosis and the lumbar lordosis or its forward curve Perfect. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, Justin. That's a good already. adjustment already, yeah. Okay, just let everything relax in my hand here. Now we're adjusting his knee joint, which you can see a little play right here. That's the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. So we got his knee and his hip joint there. Did you feel that all the way up in the little back? Yep, in the hip, yep. And he's got some play in this one too in the medial and lateral collateral ligament and he's had knee pain on both sides too worse on this side though right on this left one here so that one was a little looser too did you feel that okay so let's have you sit up face towards your knee this way this way yeah. oh yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah that way Renee can get your profile in there and now we're going to adjust his right lenohumeral joint right there now his left lenohumeral joint and as I'm doing this I always grab the bicipital tendon right here and make sure that it's back into the groove like right there especially yeah that's all she needs to go there and then we go. He's had some problems here with this left elbow too. So you always want to make sure when you adjust in the extremity joints that you do not go past the anatomical integrity of the ligament. You want to stay within the normal joint range of motion. Which that's why most people get tendonitis or sprain injuries. They go past that integrity of the ligament. They sprain the ligaments. Strain is muscle. Sprain is ligament. Ligaments hold bone to bone. Of course, the muscles move the bones. And we adjust the entire pathway of the spine. Very good. Okay, so 
Joseph, would you mind sharing with our YouTube subscribers? This is your ninth visit. Yes. How are you doing now compared to when we first started treating you? Um, almost at little to no pain on a daily basis compared to constant pain when I first came in. Um, every now and then I may get a day of something that shoots up into the high numbers, but... But you're working out a day, lot too, right? Yeah, I work out every day. I also get massages a lot. But everyday living, I'm doing almost 95% better. Um, I can sleep better. Um, my knees don't hurt. My back doesn't ache as much. So I'm doing good. No medicines. I just come get my medicine from the yeah, doctor. Yeah, which a week. is no medicine. <laughs> and, and Physical medicine. Good. Yeah. So um, I, my pain level has went down tremendously. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And also for veterans, how easy was it for you to come in and see me through the veterans program? A phone call, right? Yeah, I made a phone call. I didn't even go see my um, You didn't doctor. have to go into the primary care doc even, no, did you? Just, um, I made a phone call. They called back, and I had an appointment within like three to four days. It wasn't even that long. And it wasn't that long three to four month type no. situation that no. you normally have to go through with fee basis. And so. I didn't have to call back, fill out paperwork. So I just made a phone call. And three days later, I got a call with the appointment date. Yeah, and Advanced Chiropractic Relief is already in the Houston VA system. They know us and they work with us, so uh, we're already in that system. So all you got to do is just call Renee, and she'll give you the phone number to call Feet Tri West and get you in here. And uh, then you can be feeling as good as Joseph here. Thanks again for letting us do that today, Joseph. Let's come over here and shoot you still. Got one more thing we're going to do. We're going to retrain his cerebellum for the hindbrain to help hold him in place. Okay, let's flex you forward and backwards again. Now watch his range of motion has improved already. That's still a little kink right there. Okay, so look at your posture now. Still a little bit left on the pelvis there, but let's bring those here. I'm gonna bring the head straight back and we're gonna go a little bit right. And now shift your pelvis straight right for me. Hold this there, please. We're gonna adjust his atlas on the x-axis right here this sends a barrage of neurological information in through into the cerebellum okay you can relax and now let's do that same thing one more time please this should feel even smoother see a great range of motion his spine's right in the center up here he's still a little bit left down here so we still got to work on that his hands are still a little bit out in front of him but that's because he's got so much pec work up here. He's kind of overpowering his rhomboids, so we're getting him to work out his rhomboids a little bit more to get his hands to his sides. Does that feel a little straighter right there? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Great. That's great. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We'll see you next time.